Hey guys, Neptune here, and today we're going to talk about microphone impedance. Mic impedance is often overlooked in recording, but has a huge effect on overall sound quality. Matching or mismatching impedance values can give a single microphone many different tonal characteristics. However, mismatched gear can also result in low quality audio. Simply put, impedance is the amount of opposition an audio signal has to an AC current. The letter Z is often the shorthand for impedance, so a high Z input means it's a high impedance input. When dealing with microphones, a lower impedance is better than a high impedance. High impedance microphones lose signal quality, especially in the high frequencies, the longer the cable runs. Typically, if a microphone uses a balanced XLR cable, it has a lower impedance rating and can be used for serious work. Impedance is measured in ohms. A low impedance rating for microphones is anything less than 600 ohms. A medium impedance rating is anything between 600 and 10,000 ohms. And a high impedance rating, which for microphones should be completely avoided, is anything higher than 10,000 ohms. All microphones come with a specified impedance rating, which can be found in its manual or on the web, and if matched, ensures that the microphone is operating at its fullest potential. However, changing the impedance will also change the tonal characteristics of the mic. This is the preamp that I'm currently using with my microphone. It's important to know that all mics need to be connected to inputs with the same or a higher impedance rating. Using a lower rating input will cause the signal to lose strength. Currently I'm speaking through an SM58 which has an impedance rating of 150. I roughly have it set to that now, but you'll notice as I go lower, the signal drops away. This is why it's important to at least meet or exceed the impedance rating with your gear to your microphone. Now the manual of the preamp suggests that whatever the impedance rating is of the microphone, you should times that by four to get the best result on this specific preamp. So as I move it up to about 12 o'clock, you can hear that the quality of my voice just got better. It sounds cleaner, it's more present, it's gonna make a great recording. So anything higher than this now will still work fine. Um, it's just gonna be a different tone, a different color to my voice. This is now basically just a tone control. So as I go up from there, it's not a huge difference. It's not necessarily better or worse, but you can dial in a sound or just move it until you're happy with it. Over on this side, you see that there's a quarter inch input that says high Z next to it. As we learned from earlier, Z stands for impedance. So this is a high impedance input. Since microphones are low impedance, that clearly isn't used for microphones. However, Going instruments or going direct with guitar or bass is a high impedance output. So that's when you would use a high Z input. Not all gear will come with an impedance knob. So it's important that you read through the specs on your microphones and the gear you're planning to buy to make sure they're compatible. Mm -hmm.